In this video, I show you how to fix iPhone apps not opening. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my iPhone and let's get into some of these fixes for when apps aren't opening. The first thing I recommend doing is making sure you've got the most up-to-date version of iOS. To go and do this, all you need to do is go and open up your settings, scroll down until you can go and see general. And then once you're on the general page, what you need to do is go and tap on software update. Then as you can see, it's now checking for updates and it's gonna show any updates which are available here. As you can see, I've got an update available, so I should go and download and install this. The next thing I recommend doing is make sure that you've got an update to the app which isn't opening. So go and open up the app store like so, and then what you can do is either go and search for the app and go and update it when you've searched it, or alternatively, just go to the today page, then go to the top right and tap on your profile picture, and then scroll down and here's gonna be updates which are available. In my case, I've got an update to them all, which is why it says updated today. So yeah, go and check that list here and make sure all of your apps are up to date. And a the reason why apps may not be opening on your phone is because you may be using a beta version of iOS. Now you're going to definitely know if you're using a beta version of iOS because you will have installed it. Um, if you have gone installed a beta version, I'd recommend just um, downgrading to more stable version of iOS because that may be causing the problem. Now the next thing I recommend doing is just going and restarting your iPhone. Sometimes your iPhone is just glitching and restarting it is going to go and resolve the problem. So to do that, all you need to do is hold the power button and the increase volume button at the same time, just like this, and then it's going to go and have this option at the top saying slide to power off. So all you need to do is slide this across and your phone will power off and then you will need to go and turn it back on. It'll take a few seconds to power off and then after sort of you know five to ten seconds hold your power button and then it's going to go and turn on and you'll go and see the Apple logo. And another thing you could try is just by deleting and reinstalling the app. So to do that all you need to do is hold your finger on it then press remove app and then press delete app not remove from home screen because we want to fully delete it. Make sure it's deleted by pressing delete. Then you can go and open up the app store and go and search for it, the app you just deleted and go and download it again and if that still doesn't resolve the problem then it may just be a glitch in the version of iOS you're running and you'll need to go and wait for Apple to go and release a new update for you to go and download so keep an eye on the software update page to see if there's a new update available if you guys found this useful please go down below and say leave a like peace